Hey guys, welcome to homeschool with me. I know you guys have missed me so much this last week. We had a crazy, crazy week. And so we kind of were just a little bit MIA, but we are doing a big giveaway. So make sure you guys go and enter that giveaway. Today we're gonna to be continuing our review series of Saxon Math. And so today we're gonna to be reviewing Saxon Math 3. We've already reviewed K1 and 2, which I will have linked below so you guys can run over there if like this isn't the level you're looking for. This is Saxon Math level three, okay? Let's jump in, guys. So first things first, it comes with a meeting book. Now, in Saxon Math, their lessons are broken out into two things a meeting section and then the math lesson section. So the meeting section goes over simple things like calendar skills, graphing skills, and things like that. So for level three, your calendars look like this. They're gonna fill in the dates of the calendar. Sometimes they'll be doing color patterning and stuff like that as well in the calendar. So they'll learn their days of the week, numbers, like by ordinal position, and then also the months of the year, and just how to write a date they'll be learning those kinds of things. Okay, so that's this. They also learn the months, um, how to tell if a month has 30 days or 31 days. That trick, they learn that in the meeting book. This is one of the graphs. This is a birthday graph, so they're going to be graphing a lot. Um, see, number words and measurements, counting strips. So these are ways that we learn, we, it's like a memorization strip that they use, it's a method they use to learn how to memorize, how to count by certain numbers, like twos, fives, tens, sevens, like they do everything. You learn how to count by every single number, it makes multiplication a lot easier to transition into that. So you have a bunch of counting strips and then they also have a number line at the end of the book. So you use this at the beginning of your lesson every single day. So let's just jump right into a lesson and I can show you what it's like, okay? So your book looks like this. This little gray box, this gray box is kind of what to do beforehand, how to set it up, what you need to prepare for the lesson. Um, and then you have the meeting. Now during this meeting, on this lesson, you have a calendar, number of the day, okay? Temperature, today's counting, and you'd be counting by fives to a hundred and backwards by fives from 50, okay? You'll also be counting by hundreds to a thousand and backwards and by tens to two hundred and backwards, okay? Then you have a pattern. So today's pattern is 30, 35, 40 and they have to continue the pattern for four more and then they have to tell the rule that the pattern is counting by. Okay, so then you have the clock, um, you have a digital time on your meeting strip, and then you're going to show it on your actual manipulative clock, then you have a problem of the day. Now, in, in, and I think this is new for level three, is today they have a problem, so here's the following day, the problem. Today is the 18th. How many more months is it until December of the same date? So. It's kind of like a critical thinking skill that they do every single day. Then they have a coin cup where they're going to learn how to count money. And there'll be a different kind of amount of money every day and it tells you what amount to put in it and what coins to use. So that is your meeting time. Sometimes I focus a little more heavily during meeting, but sometimes I skip it. Some It just depends on our day. And also like if it's like, oh, count by hundreds to a thousand and then backwards and it's like, we know how to do it forwards and backwards and we're done. Sometimes I'll shorten it just because sometimes it's a lot and I don't want it to be um, like a huge thing. That's your morning meeting. Now this is the lesson, okay? So they have the lesson part here and it's written out exactly how you would tell your student how to learn it. So in bold, it tells you what to say to your student. Today, you will learn how to order numbers to 100 and then it'll tell you what to do. Write 13 and 31 on the chalkboard. Both of these numbers use digits one and three. Are they the same number? Then they answer, you say, why not? Which is the greater number? And so it kind of starts the conversation with you and it literally, it, it walks you through every single step. It tells you what to draw on the chalkboard. I did find it helpful in Saxon Math 3 to actually have a whiteboard. 
That was a big thing I remember with Saxon Math Level 3 was the whiteboard was very, very helpful. We just got a simple, cheap one at Ikea. It doesn't have to be super expensive or magnetic. It's not magnetic. We didn't. It would have been nice to get a magnetic one because you can use it for all about spelling tiles too. But we didn't get one. It wasn't magnetic. So they have that. Now, a new thing for Saxon Math Level 3 is something called class practice, okay? So class practice is they have, for most of the time, they have all of these flashcards, okay? So your goal in Saxon Math Level 3 is basically multiplication. They do a lot, a lot of work on multiplication. You don't necessarily know all of your multiplication time tables by the end of Level 3, but they're introducing the concept and you're going to practice them a ton. They also want you to know your addition and your subtraction forwards and backwards by this level. So you are going to know, know, know it. So in the class practice, it says, let's practice the doubles fact. Say the answer as I hold up the card. So you hold up the card, they say the answer. And so you're going to keep going as fast as you possibly can. Then you're going to go into your worksheets, okay? And so here's one of them. So you're going to be practicing your addition and subtraction and all that kind of stuff. They also have then you have your written practice sheets, and so they have these worksheets. Now, the worksheets in level three are a little bit more intense than they were in all the other levels. Obviously, you're getting into more intense math. So, they do have two sides. They have, so this is like complete 7A and 7B, and I'm like, uh, no. So, we only do one side of the worksheet. Sometimes we don't do the worksheet. It kind of just depends. The worksheet is good in Saxon Math because what Saxon Math does is it like gives them the one lesson and it introduces it and then it doesn't really hit it again because they're assuming that you're working through it with your worksheet. So as long as you are really making sure that the things that you are teaching in the lesson are sticking and really holding on and they have practice in other ways, you don't necessarily have to use the worksheets, but you do have to make sure that those mathematic concepts that they are learning in the lessons are really sticking and they understand them and they have practice of them easiest way is to use the worksheet they've already provided to you, but if you have another way, I say go for it and skip the worksheet if you don't want to do it. There are a lot of manipulatives, and in Saxon Math Level K, I review most of them. I have a couple other videos with math manipulatives because I'm obsessed with math manipulatives, and I'm always looking for new, fun ways. So I will link all the videos where I do that below, and I will also link your Saxon Math K manipulative kit if you just want to buy the one that Tax and Math puts together. It works through from K to 3, so this is the last year. You don't use a lot of the manipulatives in this year, but you do still use them. And that's Tax and Math Level 3. My recommendation is I do really like the program. It still has a lot of worksheets, but I think you can get away without doing the worksheets. I have in the past, and I feel like Malia is extremely good at math, so I don't think it's necessary. There's definitely ways you can pull in more hands-on fun activities for them. So if you want more videos like this, like this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell so you guys get notified every time I post a video. Comment below if you guys like sex and math, if you don't like sex and math, if you have questions, or if there's a math curriculum you would like me to review. So just let me know, guys. See you later.